Hey, Cat King Asteva here with another exciting video. Today we will cover the fully upgraded version of the Horizon Zero Dawn Light Bowgun, which is only a PlayStation 4 exclusive collaboration. On 21st of November there was a part 1 release where you had to fight its inaugurate Horse Force Reach to obtain the tickets to craft it. It was a Rarity 9 weapon which can now be upgraded to the Rarity 12 weapon Adept Storm Slinger on part 2 of this event quest. This is a really unique light bowgun and very different from what we have seen yet in the game. Let's have a look into the stats and then explain its mechanics, how its damage is calculated and how you can increase the damage, and of course the best possible build for now. It has a 460 raw damage which is the highest raw damage in the game yet for light bowguns. 0% affinity which is fine since we can easily reach 100% crit chance with crit i7, 3 weakness exploit and 1 affinity augment. It has also level 4 slot, so this might be one of the best if not the best light bowgun for its element. It has a capacity of 7 thunder ammo which mostly will be your main source of damage but you can use the skill ammo up since it increases your clip size by 2 bullets and you will have a whole 9 thunder ammo. Stick a level 2 to get some KOs and what I really loved about it is that it has paralysis level 2 ammo auto reload. This means after every bullet your gun will automatically reload and you can shoot already the next one without getting any recoil. This is really handy since most bowguns have a huge recoil and slow reloading on paralysis ammo. So once you crafted this, first of all you want to put the right mods on and the most efficient one. 2 recoil suppressor to give thunder ammo low recoil, which allows you to shoot way faster. You also want to put power barrel to increase piercing damage and boost your KO damage. Power source mode is a new kind of special ammo that is only included on this bowgun and it has a really special mechanics and incredible damage which I'm going to demonstrate you at the training area now. Ok so I'm going to equip the new power source mode and shoot with it. So firing a full burst, the last shot will damage you and leave you always at 1 HP. This cannot kill you but it will always drain your health down to 1 HP even if you have only 1 HP. Now this can be bad for some players or really good for others. You probably know of the skill Failing Heroics which is a much better than Armor Heroics. It can be eaten at the canteen and will increase your road damage by 35% when you, your HP is less than 10%. This is what makes this gun so broken, constant and easily triggerable heroics. Another good matchup is Resentment which is ok to use but I'll get later to the build. You can fire up to 5 full bursts before your meter goes down. Let's have a look on the numbers. 92, 101, 110, 147, 153, 236, 275, 319 and 415 and it basically left me at 1 HP now which activated heroics on the last shot. So it does a total of 9 hits and it increases its damage after every hit so it's definitely worth to do a full burst if you have an opening because after the last shot you get stuck in like a 2 second animation with 1 HP and you can easily die. That's a total of 1848 damage on the first burst. The last 2 hits will always do the same damage the reason why the last number is higher than the one before here is because we activated heroics. So let's see the damage on the bursts afterward. 120, 132, 144, 192, 200, 307, 360, 415 and 415 again. So this was already 2285 damage per burst which is just incredible. Assuming you can go way higher on actual hunts with evasion mental, but that's a limit. You hit the row cap of 2 times base row, which used to be 3 times on base world. Thank you, Capcom, for this trashy nerf. We just hit over 11,000 damage in just 50 hits and about 30 seconds. Imagine how strong this is with 4 players. Wanna see 4 player runs? Leave a comment down below. So what does actually increase the damage of this? I did not expect it but it actually does scale from raw damage, elemental thunder damage and special ammo damage. So the skill thunder attack and special ammo boost can get applied. This is a reason why the numbers go so high. If it didn't have elemental damage you would be stuck with just a 2x raw cap. 
Also it gets another 40% increase from True Crit Element and 20% from Special Ammo Boost and 35% from Heroics. All this stacked up makes this incredible damage. So what some players now will do is set down a small bomb to keep their HP below 10% to have Heroics active during the whole fight so you can shoot also Thunder Ammo or other Ammo types and then they will always do super high damage even though I don't recommend you to use other than Thunder Ammo for damage. A good matchup here will be the Vitality Mantle since it could protect you from dying for a few hits but use the mantle after you have bombed yourself. So now that you know how this works I can show you the final build. Regardless of how many decorations you have or even if known, you should go with a silver Rathalos set to gain the true crit element and increase the elemental damage by 40% every time you land a critical hit. Best in slot for the arms will be the Kirins since they come with 3 thunder attack and a bunch of slots. The majority of the people won't be able to make the exact same build now, so the most important skills that you should aim for at the beginning is thunder attack level 6, weakness exploit level 3 and crit die level 7 to have a 100% crit chance which will be already the biggest part of your damage. Free element will increase your thunder ammo clip size by 2 so it's not that important for now if you want to replace it. Special ammo boost for a 20% increase on your power source mode. Now you can choose between resentment and focus. Focus will allow you to gain 10% faster meter on your special ammo once it's depleted and resentment will give you about 10 more damage on every bullet. As for augments you have to use one affinity at least to reach the 100% crit and the other two can be element up for increased elemental damage. If you wanna see actual gameplay or speedrun call it whatever you want I'll link your video downs against the gold rathian in the description so you can check it out later. It, it should be the fastest run on youtube yet if no one has beaten it. Hope you all enjoyed the video and that I could give you a better understanding for this special light bow gun. If so be sure to leave a like and comment down below guys what you think of this gun or if I missed anything and you want it answered. Also join our discord server which is also linked in the description if you have more at once questions or looking for hunting buddies. With that said I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys. Don't forget to join Cat Gang. Meow.